Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and these are my favorite comm systems. First up, Cardo's Scala Rider Q1 team set. This guy is an endangered species. This is a really simple rider to passenger communication system and there aren't a lot of those left on the market. Now, that doesn't mean it's bad though. I really love this thing. It gives me a crystal clear Bluetooth link up with my pillion. I can toggle my pillion right off if I get bored of them with a voice command and I can use a voice command to answer my mobile phone as well. I also have a built-in FM radio. AGC means the speakers will self-adjust their volume depending on how fast I'm riding. A2DP means I can control my music over Bluetooth and stream it to my passenger if I want. The HS profile makes the Q1 compatible with a bunch of GPS units. Hot dial means it can remember my wife's phone number and call her at the click of a button. And the battery will give me 10 hours talk time and one week on standby. I'm gonna unpack it for you guys, but can we take a minute to admire this case first? I mean, semi-rigid textile, two-tone zipper. Well, the thing is gorgeous. Now I ordered a top of the line Senna last year and it came in a cardboard box. So props to Cardo for giving me something I can actually use even on the base model. So opening it up and there's a small novel which Cardo calls an instruction manual. And then here's the main feature. This is gonna be two Q1 units, very slim, very lightweight. Waterproof too, which is a big thing that other manufacturers always seem to drop the ball on. Remove this felt display case and then there's all my goodies. So I get two microfiber bags for each device. Um, these are just going to be extra little foamies for the microphone. Um, these are little sticky and Velcro pads. It's going to help with installation. Uh, these cords are kind of funny. These are micro USB to 3.5 millimeter jack. So if you're from a different century, yes, you could actually use the Q1 with a CD player. Uh, after that, we have our charging cords. These are going to be two wall outlets. And then they plug into these little USB uh, cords as well. So I could plug the Q1 into my computer or I could plug it into my wall. Uh, going down from there, we have the stereo speakers. These are really good and they're really loud. You could plug earbuds into the Q1 as well, but these are better in my opinion. After that, it's just gonna be the base mounting planes. Obviously there's two of them because this is a two pack. And then they have your boom uh, microphone attached there. Now for these, you just take the little thin edge of this plate, shove it up between the shell of your helmet and the EPS foam, and you tighten down the screws. It'll work on pretty much any lid. And then if I go in here, there's gonna be one more present under the Christmas tree. This box contains possibilities. And there's a corded microphone in here in case I don't like the boom hanging out over my face. There's sticky mounts as well for the outside of the helmet in case I prefer adhesive to the clamps. So that's everything Cardo considers to be basic kit. And that says a lot about how serious they take their comm systems. Now, what if I want to talk to someone on another bike or 14 people on other bikes? Then it's the Cardo Pack Talk. Now the Q1 was about 260 bucks for the two pack, whereas this guy's over 600 for the Duo. So it's a big jump up. As I suggested, the new firmware upgrade means that 15 different riders can get in on the conversation. I can conference call with three of them at once as well. They could be riding alongside me, calling in from a mobile phone or whatever. The main thing about the Pack Talk is DMC or dynamic meshwork communication. And all that means is that this basically creates a self-healing network. Now, if I'm riding along with a bunch of riders and then a couple of us leave the group and the rest of our connections are going to stay intact. And then if those riders end up coming back in, they're going to be automatically reabsorbed. Now, let's say I fall behind, so I'm out of range of the rider at the front. Then what this guy is going to do is it's going to automatically leapfrog my voice through the other units in the group to that rider at the front. I can even set it so that when my intercom buddy goes out of range, the pack talk automatically switches to a mobile phone call. Basically, this is just designed to take the hassle out of large group communication. It does whatever it can, whenever it can, as best it can to hook up to the other riders around me. So I don't have to worry about it. I do have to call bullshit on a couple of Cardo's claims though. And for one, they say 13 hours of talk time up to a week on standby. But in my experience, especially in DMC mode, it's actually going to be less than 10 hours of talk time. The other thing is that unit to unit, they say you can get 1.6 kilometers of range and up to eight kilometers if you account for all the riders leapfrogging your voice across the group. Eh, I mean, maybe in Saskatchewan. But if you ride anywhere near mountains or trees, you'll be lucky to get half that. Even still, the pack talk is going to be head and shoulders above the competition. I mean, trust me, I bought a Senna 20S last year, and I really wish I got one of these instead. I mean, it's waterproof, it's more reliable, it has more features, it's built better, I and mean, this is the king of comms for the time being. So the Q1 is the best option if I want to talk to my passenger, and the pack talk is the best option for everything else. But what if I wear a half helmet? Of course, I could install one of those Cardos anyway. I mean, the boom mics are wind canceling, so it would work. But Euclear has come up with something better, and they call it the HBC 200HD. See, this uses vibration mics, so you run these little nubs up into your helmet, 
and let them feel the space above your forehead. It'll pick up vibrations when you talk and then somehow turn them into a clear and audible voice at the other end. It's one of those things that seems like it shouldn't work, but it does. Now the benefit of that is that I don't have a boom mic hanging out over my face, which I really like. And this guy also comes with earbuds, so if I don't actually use ear flaps, I don't have a place to install regular speakers, then I can just use the earbuds. Much like the Pack Talk, the HBC 200 HD is gonna be great for large groups. And it can link up to 10 riders at once, it can multi-hop across long distances, it'll do your phone, your music, your GPS system, it'll do voice commands, all that jazz. And finally, I'm gonna end the comm system video with not a comm system. Well, not quite anyway. This is a spot trace and it does communicate one thing, location. Using satellite technology, I can track this thing anywhere in the world. It can show up on my Google Maps and if I want it to, it can send me text messages every time it moves. Obviously, I'm gonna chuck this thing on my motorcycle and there are two benefits to that. Now for one, if I wake up to an empty parking space, I can call the cops and tell them exactly where the punk who jacked my ride is hiding. And the second benefit is safety. Spot just celebrated their 4,000th successful rescue and the story really hit close to home and was a dual sport rider off-roading alone in a pretty remote area when he took a hard bail. And emergency riders were able to find him successfully thanks to his spot device. Now the rider in that story had a unit that was specially designed to send emergency signals, but even this anti-theft spot trace could end up saving my life. I mean, let's say I don't come home from a ride one day, and all my wife has to do is go online and see exactly where I am. The spot is rugged, it's waterproof, and it's small. So those are three things that are absolutely mandatory if we're gonna make it a permanent fixture on this V-Strom. Now it came with some adhesive foam in the box, so I'd probably just stick it in this little gap underneath my seat. And that's it for my favorite comms. As always, product links are right down below, and thank you guys very much for watching.